I'm Holly Tompkins, Senior Planner with the Department of Planning and Zoning, and we're here with another segment on the Southern Kent Island Sanitary Project. Our topic this time is nitrogen reduction goals. With me is Rob Gunter. Welcome, Rob. Tell me a little bit about your background. Well, thanks for having me, Holly. As you said, my name is Rob Gunter. I'm a Community Environmental Planner with Queen Anne's County, and I'm here to talk about the WIP today as it relates to the Southern Kent Island Sanitary Project. What is the WIP? WIP stands for Watershed Implementation Plan. The United States Environmental Protection Agency mandated that the states that are located within the Chesapeake Bay watershed develop plans that will provide strategies for reducing the amount of nitrogen, phosphorus, and sediment that's delivered into the Chesapeake Bay. How does this relate to Queen Anne's County? I assume that means we're in the watershed? Absolutely. Queen Anne's County is within the Bay watershed. The EPA has told each state within the Bay watershed how much nitrogen, phosphorus, and sediment they need to reduce in order to reach their targeted allocations by the year 2025. In turn, the Maryland Department of Environment has provided each county with its own set of reduction goals. Since 2010, the county has been working on WIP. There is a plan in place, and every two years the county updates its milestones. In fact, the current milestones are set to be due in January of 2014, and they take care of the years 2014 and 2015. Milestones are basically short-term goals that assure the long-term long -term goals are actually met. For more information regarding our WIP or the Maryland WIP as a whole, please visit our website at www.qac.org. Click the Planning and Zoning box. From there, hover your cursor on the left-hand side of the screen on the Planning tab, and one of your options will be the Watershed Implementation Plan. What is the Nutrient Reduction Goal for Queen Anne's County? The county's WIP goal is to reduce the overall nitrogen discharge by 87,000 pounds by the year 2025. This can be achieved through reduction in fertilizer use, improving stormwater management practices, and correcting septic systems. In fact, 53,000 pounds of our total nitrogen reduction must be derived from correcting the septic systems. With regard to the septic systems, there are two ways to reduce the amount of nitrogen that's being discharged. The first is to replace the conventional system with a denitrification septic system, commonly referred to as a BAT system, or best available technology. This type of fishing is more efficient than a conventional system, but the amount of nitrogen delivered to the bay will vary depending on the, the septic tank's location. Significantly more nitrogen is kept out of the bay if the BAT system is installed within the Chesapeake Bay critical area versus being installed outside of the critical area. The most efficient way to remove nitrogen from the septic systems is to disconnect and remove the septic system as a whole and connect those houses to an enhanced nutrient removal wastewater treatment plant, such as the one down on Route 8 by Route 50. Okay, how much of a reduction will the county get from fixing the septic systems on Southern Kent Island? Using the state model for computing the nitrogen reductions, if we convert all of the existing homes within the ski study communities, a BAT system would reduce the amount of nitrogen that enters the bay by almost 11,000 pounds of nitrogen. Conversely, if we connect all those systems to an ENR plant, we effectively reduce our nitrogen discharge by approximately 21,900 pounds. That would be 41% of our overall countywide septic system nitrogen removal goal. Great. Thank you, Rob. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? If you want to know anything about the WIP and you cannot find it on the webpage, please feel free to contact me at 410-758-1255 or my email address is rgunter at qac.org. Thank you. Thank you.